Juan Sanchez Catan, Still Life with Quince, Cabbage, Melon and Cucumber, painted in 1602. In this video, I'm going to talk you through some different aspects of this painting. I'm going to talk about the subject matter, the composition, his style, the use of media handling and techniques, the mood and atmosphere and the visual impact. These are six of the different things that, this is about half of the amount of different things that you might be asked about in a National 5 exam. And you have to talk about two different paintings. And for each of these different aspects, you need to have three things ready to say. And you're not sure which ones they're going to ask you about, so you have to be prepared for all of them. But there can be repetition and overlap between them. You have already started writing, filling out sheets about these. These are some more ideas that might help you. You're welcome to use, obviously, all the ideas that I give you in this video. But I would ask you to use your own words rather than take my words directly from this. There's a transcript of this will be available in Word document form as well. Um, that will be in Teams in the Files section. Um, so you can, it might actually help to read through this and listen to it at the same time. There's an image of the painting in the transcript. And I'm going to start with subject matter. So Catan was a deeply religious man. And after completing this, his final painting, he renounced all his worldly possessions and he became a monk before dying the following year in 1603. So the quince in the top left of this painting could be used symbolically, as it was actually a quince rather than an apple that Adam and Eve ate in the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis that then led to the fall of man. The curve leading down from the quince to the cucumber in the bottom right could then describe this descent from Eden to where we are now, with the melon and the cucumber peeking over the edge of the painting and into our reality. The second thing about subject matter... The choice of subject matter is of course organic and natural. It is therefore a picture of nature, perhaps Catan's version of praise to God by making art from the fruits that God has provided to the world and agonising over every tiny detail as every detail is God's work. Or perhaps the use of this natural subject matter, this produce of the land, is about honesty and virtue. Because those who work the land are seen as examples of honesty and virtue because of the simplicity of their way of life. And thirdly, the choice of these particular fruits and vegetables is perhaps because of their varying visual qualities. Each gives Catan a different challenge in terms of form and texture, from the smooth and shiny quince to the ruffled, almost fabric-like cabbage, to then the chunky and juicy melon and then the rough and bumpy cucumber. This allows Catan to display the full range of his talents in his masterpiece by describing all these varying textures and surfaces. Composition. The first thing to say about the composition is that it reflects the way that fruit and vegetables would be stored in a Spanish home in the 17th century. Before fridges, fruit and vegetables were hung to delay their decay, and in a warm country like Spain, this rotting would happen a lot faster. Realism is clearly Catan's intention, as you can see with his fastidious detail in this painting. So then, this would be realistic in another sense, because it would be like looking into a typical 17th century Spanish home. It would be like looking into a real scene from that time perhaps even fooling the viewer into thinking that it's more than a painting, that they're actually looking into a real shelf in a Spanish kitchen. The second thing, the use of so much negative space taking up most of the composition and finding its way between each piece of subject matter makes the painting feel ordered, everything deliberately placed and static. It's not a busy feeling composition, but the opposite. It's one that feels slow and contemplative. The space around and between the objects, giving us the room to contemplate each individually and the gentle arc that they are arranged in then allows us to see them as a single unit as well. And thirdly, for composition, the painting employs trompe l'oeil, a trick of the eye in French. 
where the artist uses visual devices to trick the viewer into believing they are looking at 3D objects rather than a 2D surface. The cucumber and melon peeking over the edge of the frame are examples of this, and Catan's lining up of the window frame with the edge of the canvas allows this trick to happen. Style. The style of this piece is Baroque, a style of painting from the 17th century that used... Oh, sorry. Uh, Baroque was a style of painting from the 17th century that used strong light and dark contrasts, or chiaroscuro, to add drama to a very realistically depicted subject matter. So chiaroscuro, the strong tonal contrast, and the realism, these are trademarks of Baroque. Um, also, you could say the style of this piece could be described as a realist, as the artist's main concern here is to paint his subject so carefully and in such great detail that we cannot even detect his brush marks. We may as well be looking at actual fruit and vegetables. And lastly for style, um, the use of chiaroscuro makes the style of the piece feel dramatic and the stark realism and abundant use of black in the negative space makes the style of the work also feel serious at the same time. Media handling and technique. This painting is done in oil paint and Catan would have built up this kind of paint in layers, starting with a monochromatic tonal painting. So that means just one or no colour, like a brown and white tonal painting. And over this, Catan added layers and layers of glazes. Glazes are transparent layers of colour. And these can give an incredibly realistic finish. But you'd have to wait for one to dry to apply the next layer of colour. You can see an example of this in the PowerPoint that I added um, about uh, Catan's techniques. Catan, second thing about media handling and technique, Catan would probably not have worked directly from a still life arrangement of the four objects as they would have rotted during the long painting process. Instead, Catan would have made individual studies of the different subjects and brought them together only in the painting. This seems likely as there is no overlap in the composition and the subjects don't interact with each other in any way. And lastly, two techniques which Catan has used here are chiaroscuro and trompe l'oeil, both being popular in Baroque painting. Chiaroscuro, or light dark in Italian, is a strong tonal contrast we see here with well-defined hard shadows and this helps heighten the realism. Trompe l'oeil means trick of the eye and is where Catan has painted the cucumber and melon slice as if they extend beyond the shelf that they sit on and are protruding into the real world. Mood and atmosphere. There is a serious atmosphere here. The colours are harmonious, so there does not seem to be too many of them, as in it's not a very colourful painting, and there is an abundant use of black. There is no movement or dynamism, just a static, carefully placed fruit, so that rather than containing energy, the piece is sober and serious. The strong lighting, this is the second thing, the strong lighting and the use of chiaroscuro remind us of stage lights and the strong shadows look more likely they should be on a stage than in a kitchen. This brings a sense of drama which juxtaposes nicely with the humble everyday nature of the subject matter itself. And lastly, the Christian symbolism in the piece and the careful placement of the subjects makes this piece contemplative so that when we look at it, Although we're looking at a typical Spanish 17th century Spanish domestic scene or a typical scene from that time, we end up considering far more profound ideas such as man's fall from paradise. And visual impact. The use of black behind the dramatically lit subjects has the effect of pushing the subject matter towards the viewer, bringing both realism and drama to the piece. Secondly, Catan's use of trompe l'oeil, or trick of the eye, where he has placed the cucumber and melon slice over the edge of the shelf, which we also consider to be the edge of the painting, makes it look like they are sticking out of the painting, enhancing the realism and creating a powerful visual impact. And lastly, Catan's use of minute detail to describe every tiny part of the fruit and vegetables draws the viewer in and invites us to inspect the subjects, taking our time over each of these details. And actually, while I'm here, one more for visual impact that's not included on the written paper is that the use of black in the background 
against the colour of the fruits and vegetables makes this colour far more vibrant against the black. Okay, so black against the colours makes the colours appear more vibrant and this then enhances the visual impact. Right, I hope you found that helpful. I will record uh, one more of these for the other aspects of the painting I didn't do in this one, but that should help you with the first two sheets I've set you.